Welcome to Choose Light Now, a series of videos from a conference call held on January 25, 2010. These conference calls are one of the ongoing programs from Soul Support Systems, a nonprofit organization dedicated to providing information, education, and experience about the soul. This message is from Mary Magdalene, who has been speaking with our global community since March of 2009, bringing the request that we remember and connect to the design of union housed within each of us. Her message is focused on important understandings concerning this time in our human evolution. Magdalene is an emissary of light who represents the Great Mother, the lineage holder of wisdom that sustains and nurtures our lives. In this message, Magdalene compels us to act now from the knowing we each carry within. To receive the full guidance offered in this series, it is beneficial to view these videos in order. Join us now as we create together a pillar of light that symbolizes our individual intention to consciously unify with all life. Tonight we're going to speak again with Mary Magdalene and bring the energy of the cross of consciousness and the the solar sun the moon beyond the moons and the time beyond the times to join us in this very special in a very beautiful monument to the courage and the consciousness of the human race we are as you know at a very important crossroads and the choices that you make in each moment are foundationing your species in ways that your mind cannot understand. To honor the fulfillment of the destiny of the human race in its highest potential is our directive for this evening. This means that the choices that you make on a moment-to-moment -moment basis are important, even when they seem inconsequential. It seems to me, as I look at the unfolding of events, the uh, character assassinations that are occurring, the challenges that important leaders face in your time, the classifications, characterizations of those who are in, let us just call the, um, the powerful places of consciousness, and how these important points of reality are seen, observed, perceived, received, and connected through. All matter now, as we enter these days, of clarification. In some ways, the order that the Great Mother spoke about on our last call is of paramount importance because it's the crucible upon which the future is based. Order is the foundation through which consciousness finds itself, reminds itself of its origin, and extends itself, expands itself into larger and larger ways and waves of becoming. Each of you is at a critical point because it's necessary for you to receive resource to continue. And the world, as it assassinates consciousness, as it looks briefly at someone and makes determination, uses, uses logic instead of heart, uses facts in, instead of intuition, is creating a dualistic wave that is showing up in the world as trauma. And we have talked many times throughout the years about the fact that what you think creates a form, creates an actual energy. 
And that energy then goes into the world. It moves through the fabric of order, the fields of the earth, and must be balanced in some way. And even though each of you is very clear about your intention, I must request tonight that you be even more clear. That when you begin to waver in your focus of order, when you begin to judge another being, when you begin to use your thought to annihilate or to in some way diminish, the incremental difference between dismissing something or someone and annihilating them is now closing that gap so that the distinction is barely perceptible at this point. What I'm saying is that we judge and we do not understand, and in the judgment we are creating, because creation is right now very, very easy to do, we're creating what it is we're not choosing instead of choosing to create what is in the heart of our being. We are very easily sending energy that decapitates consciousness, that that cuts it off at its legs because we don't understand the impact of our own energy force. Very few of you understand the impact of your thoughts, the impact of the energy of your consciousness, and where it's moving and how it's moving and why it's moving and the direction it's moving in. And as much as you now need resource, which is reception, which is receiving, which is bringing the connection and the above and the below together through the central channel of your being, your perceptions about your outer world take that energy and in a sense, cut it in half instead of empowering it to magnify. And I've been watching this uh, in all beings. You know, it's just not, of course, your soul energies. And I'm talking about it uh, as if I was talking to the human race, so bear with me, because it's very strong in me this evening as I'm seeing it. You know, it's very, very callous, uh, this energy of human-to-human interaction. And I want you to understand the impact of it because it's so important and also because the resources that you need come from clarifying your union with the above in such a way that you no longer take the energy of thought and send it out in judgment or perception if it does not match the frequency of that which you are resourcing. And it's a different way of looking at your world and at the opportunities that are now available for you. And so I will take you through it step by step. And the seriousness of it is very important for you to grasp because we are at that turning place. We are needing to evolve the human race to its next step. 